What's up YouTubers? Today I'm gonna make a beat from scratch and I'm gonna be using everything from FL Studio. I'm not gonna be using a third party sample packs. I'm not gonna be using a third party uh, VST plugin. So everything I'm gonna be doing is just out of FL Studio plugin. So let's do this. Straight from the lab of HBS Beats Discamp. All right now, so I just opened FL Studio. So the first thing I wanna do is to delete all this default samples so i'm going to be using alt and delete on my keypad and it's gone so i'm going to come over to packs and then uh, first of all i'm going to use uh, let's say uh, 110 for my uh, bpm i'm going to come over to packs legacy uh drums and then real drums then i need to select some samples I'm just going to start with the shaker here. So it look something like this. So this is the basic step of the shaker. So I'm just going to uh, work with the velocity to make it uh, look humanized. So uh, I'll just reduce some of them. I don't want all of them to be at the same velocity. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit of uh, the shift here. So I'll make it like uh, three seconds. If you look up here, you'll see how many seconds you're going to be doing. So it now sound like this. Anyways, 110 is too fast for me, so I like to start from, uh, let's say, 100. So I'm going to add a swing of about 25 or let's say 30% of swing. So like this, I'm good to go. I'll add a kick. So I would like to tighten it up a little bit or yeah, to get some punchiness out of it. So first of all, I'm going to duplicate this particular guy here as much as I can. So I'm actually using Ctrl B after I've selected it. So I'll add a kick. So the kick is going to start off uh, like uh, on the first bar. I'm just going to put it at, at the very first uh, step. So the next thing I want to do is to get the uh, the clap for this pattern. So I think I like this one, so I'm just going to use it, but I I think I I like the high part of it, so I'm going to take it to the mixer and then I'll work on the sound. So I'm going to put an EQ. This is how you use EQ. So I'm just going to solo, just play what I want first. Okay, so now I'm going to do the EQing. So I'm cutting the low end of it. So while it plays. So I'm going to be adding more percussions. So I'm just going to be looking for uh, something really tiny. So I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm co I'll copy this particular pattern for the kick down here. So next off, I'll add uh, more. So I'm just going to be using the regular alphabet pattern. So it's going to be like this.
So I'm just going to add the rest of the instruments to the mixer that has not been added. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So, this is the reason why you need an a third-party sample. So, if you need samples, a clean samples, better than the default samples on FL Studio, you can try to reach out to me, and I'm going to be glad to share them with you, but not for free. So, if you have a better sample, then you you don't need to bother yourself trying to make this sound better. So, the next thing I want to do is to add the vamp. So, I'm going to go onto a new pattern. And then I'm going to load, uh, let's say, uh, flex. Flex, 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 flex. I don't know what this sounds like, but I'm just going to take uh, the chords I already have here. So progression is the main thing. So once you get your progression, you can actually copy what you have there already then you paste So, so I'm going to be adding more. So next up next off i'm going to add the base so i'm going to be using still fl default plugin so it's going to be pretty no, no no let me use uh oxalato this guy here so i'm just going to turn down uh, the first one and the second one so the same progression <laughs> I'm going to bring it down a lower octave.
What? Alright, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pattern the beat a little bit and then I drop the FLP for you guys. So I want the beat to start off with this particular guy here. Mm -hmm. 